Hey Matthew, Paul Myers, Clark Communications. Thanks for taking my call yesterday, I appreciate it. Listen, I said I was gonna to put together a quick video screencast that'll kind of help you perhaps walk you through uh, some of the things that you could do um, over the course of the next few months to really help get more calls, more revenue, more sales in the door. Um, and, it, and it's all about you know positioning your website so that Google can understand what's on it uh, and know that it's the uh, most authoritative site in that niche. So little things that you can do. So um, let me just, uh, you know, this is your, obviously your website looks good. Um, one of the things that Google will tell you to do is, and one of the single most important things would be to have more words, more content on your homepage. Um, so if you come here to an article from Google, it'll tell you right here, uh, provide high quality content on your pages, especially your homepage. It's the single most important thing you can do. So coming back to your site, if you can put another 1500 or 2000 words in here, um, you know, talking about, you know, roof repair, roofing, different types of roofing, um, roofing services, um, you know, include all the keywords that you'd want to be found for roof repair, roofing quotes, um, that sort of thing, but get it on the home page because this is the page, the penniesroofing.com, that's going to grab most of the traffic. Okay, you have interior pages here, uh, but they won't grab as much traffic as the uh, home page will. So again, you want to make sure when you build out um, your content on your site that you have enough words on here. And um, I, would, I would definitely work to have 1,500 or 2,000 more words on this home page. Um, we look to some of your competitors, uh, bars, I can see. Um, it doesn't have a lot of content, probably a little bit more than you guys. Finley Roofing, uh, a little bit of content, not much, probably less than you guys. Um, uh, Arcam Roofing, um, again, not a lot of content, probably a little bit more than you guys. So really, it's almost like it's low-hanging fruit, if you will. I kind of like that, too, uh, because this will show if I do an inspect. Um, yeah, you see, that's, that's, that's kind of cool, right? And then if you click on that, it's going to want to dial the number. That's important. Sorry, I'm kind of off base here, but if I do yours and I do an inspect to make it look like mobile, uh, one of the key things I would do here is get your phone number on here. I know it's right here, it's very small, but I would have it so that it's static and it stays across here at the bottom, no matter where they scroll. Uh, let me just show you exactly what I mean by that. Uh, this is a site that we had just finished. So if I do an inspect, you see where this stays? No matter where I go on the page, I always have the number. And really, all it's about is uh, making sure you're providing the user uh, a really cool experience and make it simple for them to reach out to you. So those are little things, little tweaks that you can do um, to make sure that um, this, this is a user-friendly site. So anyways, I got a little bit off track there, sorry. Um, but when I look at all these other guys, they don't have a lot of, con a lot of uh, content. So my point is if you went out and built out more content, you know, adding more pages, adding more um, relevancy, uh, it'll help you rank big time. So um, let me take a look at uh, some of these tools that we use, uh, AREFs. And this, is, uh, this will simulate kind of like you have Google Analytics or Google Search Console. Um, this will simulate um, the back end for us so we can see what's going on. And when we look at your domain here, it's not showing pretty much like there's nothing happening with it. If I go over to um, bars, you can see quite a bit of a difference where they have 424 backlinks and a backlink is when another site uh, links to you. It's like a vouch uh, in Google's eyes. Google loves that. So they have 424 backlinks coming from 47 referring domains and, they've got, and they're ranking for 514 keywords related to their business. Um, if I looked at uh, Finley, again, much like yourself, there's nothing really happening here. And if I look to uh, Arcam Roofing, same scenario. He's got 9,300 9, backlinks coming from 122 domains uh, and 329 back, um, keywords he's ranking for. So he's, he's doing okay as well. 
So the biggest thing here that I can tell you is get more content on this site. Content is king, probably always will be. Uh, Google has less than a half a second to give the search uh, query result. And it looks to a lot of different factors, on page, off page. Um, and the more information you can give Google, the easier it will be for them to say, okay, this is exactly what this person wants. Because really Google's goal is only one thing. Did you search at Google and did you find what you needed? That's the most important thing. Um, when I come over here, let me just see if I have, uh, let me just do this here, give me one second. Okay, so we don't have Google um, attached to this at all. So what you wanna do is get Google Analytics on here and Google Search Console on here because that will help you determine where your traffic is coming from, how it's getting there, and what you need to do to kind of build it out and build it forward. So I took this, and this is, uh, I'm using in what they call an incognito window. And I'm using a search tool um, that we use, Bright Local, which will simulate a search term, a location, uh, and where I want it to search. So I've searched for roofing contractor, and I've searched it inside of uh, Newcastle, Ontario, for a roofing contractor. And there's a lot of guys running paid ads. So that's, that's something we can also help you with. We've got a few tricks up our sleeve on how to do this correctly. And then this is the Google My Business Map Deck or free listings. And I don't see you guys listed in here. So, um, you know, a lot of the phone calls will happen getting inside this box and, the, and there's ways to do that. These are things that I can kind of, you know, um, help you with and show you. But then also coming through here, you're not ranking organically. So you're not being found um, on the first page of Google. And you know what they say about the second page, eh? That's where you can hide a dead body. Anyways, uh, let's go here. Roofing company is the keyword I used. Again, paid traffic. Um, I don't see you inside of the map deck. And again, we'll go through here and see. I'm not seeing you ranking either. So let's go just roofer. Again, it knows that I'm searching in Newcastle for roofer. Uh, again, your paid traffic, and we've got nothing in here as well. So how to get ranked inside of here, it's a Google My Business listing, is you need more what we call citations. A citation is your name, address, and phone number cited all over the web in different directories like Yelp, 411, Yellow Pages, YP, City Direct, uh, Facebook, YouTube. All of these things are what we call citations. There are also vouchers, uh, and um, Google likes to see when other websites link to you, right? It's like a backlinking strategy. These all count. And the more of these you have, the more chance you'll have of getting displayed inside the Google My Business Map Deck. So you can go out and, and um, get these citations done. You can do them yourself. They're time consuming. They take a while. But once they're there, they're there. So that's some of the most important things. Um, so you got a few things you, you can look at doing is, in, you know, install this uh, sticky phone number on mobile. Because right now, if I'm on a roofer and I'm looking, you're making, uh, you're making the people search for your number. Where's that number? Where's that number? Where's that number? And it's very small, right? What you want to do is have that number blazing on the bottom here just to make sure that it, ne it never goes away. It's always there. And it, it's the user experience that you're looking for. So that's kind of tip number one. Tip number two is add more content. Um, get a get a FAQ page on here. It's a great place to, to, to actually bury some of your competition's information in there. For example, you could have a question like, hey, what difference differentiates uh, penny roofing from bars roofing and siding? And this way you get their name on your website in a nice way, but you might be able to grab some of the traffic as well if someone's searching for bars roofing. These are all tips and tricks that you can use, but getting a FAQ on here, getting a blog on here, every job you're at, um, take photos of the job and write a 500 word blog on it. Hey, we're sitting over here in Newcastle, building out a new roofing structure using this type of tile, this type of shingle. Uh, we do, you know, we also do roof repairs, but in this case, in other words, you're getting more um, content on your site. Again, the most important thing you can add uh, to your website is content. All right, and the more you have, the better. Um, anyway, so that's a little bit about you know what you can do to your site. Uh, we do on-page SEO, we do off-page SEO, 
but then we also provide uh, leads. So look, if you're having a hard time getting leads, and I can I can tell that um, there I can tell there's leads uh, there's lead flow happening. Let me just pause this and I'll show you how I know. Back again. Okay, so what you're looking at here is this is Google Ads. This is uh, a way we come in and we can select keywords in markets. So I've come in and I've selected roofing contractor, roofer, roof repair, roofing service, roofing company, and roof repair company in the Newcastle area. And this is the search volume. So I can see that there is search happening. And on, if you look at it, the red represents mobile, the blue represents desktop. So more than half of everybody searching is on mobile. So you want to optimize your mobile um, site. You have to because you're 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 probably losing people when they hit your site and they can't find the information or they can't find your phone number. You're probably losing them. Uh, your biggest searches are happening in February through to um, actually from February from February all the way through October. Uh, just a lot two months ago, there was uh, over 75 searches, uh, over 70 on mobile. And I can see based on what I'm seeing inside of the search that you're not getting those calls. So other companies are getting these calls. So search is happening. People are out there, but it looks like, you know, bars and it looks like uh, this guy here might be eating your lunch a little bit. Um, so there, there's ways to do that, man. There's these guys. This, this is not rocket science. It's not hard, uh, but we can we can. And how I got on this is that we can we can get you different leads in this market, uh, you know, with some other assets that we use and build with. So, you know, if any of this is interesting to you and you want to have another little chat, just uh, hit me up and um, let's let's uh, you know, let's talk this thing out. But anyways, I hope I've provide, provided some value for you. I hope you can see uh, where you can just kind of do a few tweaks and hopefully get things to start, um, you know, changing. OK, thanks so much, Matthew. Talk to you later.